Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Rear Room Show number 145. 145, gosh, we're almost up to 150. <laughs> oh, I love it. And this is a QSO dated 8-26-2013. QSO, you know, short communications. At least that's my interpretation of QSO. Anyway, some update um, on the Bofang little HT. I've been requesting and requesting some help in that it does not have a button that is dedicated to turning the backlight on. So I've been asking everybody if there's any other button that I can push, because when you push any button the backlight comes on, that would not interrupt the scan mode and somebody came up with one obvious one that I didn't think of and I couldn't find anybody else that thought of it is the up down button so for instance if you're already scanning going up in frequency you just hit the up button the backlight comes on and it continues to scan it doesn't interrupt the scan so that's the answer to that little problem. I'm continuing to test this. Um, I've, it turns out that there are a couple of nets, meaning um, in, uh, feedback and forth between hams on a specific sub subject on Thursday night. There's like two or three on Thursday night. So we've been going to the ball game on Thursday night, so I wasn't able to get in to the net to see if the radio is working. Also, uh, one of my subscribers lives like three or four blocks south of me and sent me an email says, if you want to work simplex, we can do simplex and then you can find out, you know, the quality of the sound, uh, I mean, the audio. So, going to do that too. So anyway, that's the update on the Bofang. UV5R, which, by the way, is available on my Amazon store. And no additional charge to you. I get a small commission, and with that small commission, I can buy things to review on the show and then give away. Isn't that cool? Okay, so much for that. Speaking of giveaways, I have to remind you that I got two week giveaways coming up. The first giveaway is when. I reach 750 subscribers, and I'm about up to, I think, 650 right now, so we're getting close. And the giveaway will be is this little multimeter. So all you have to do is to enter the contest is, number one, you have to have an address, a mailing address, inside continental USA. Sorry for people outside the USA, but mailing outside the USA gets really complicated. So that, that's number one. Number two, to enter this co for contest for this meter, just send me a message via YouTube saying, enter me in the contest for the multimeter, and you're in. Okay, pretty simple. Now, the next contest, which is pretty exciting, and you can enter both. You can win both if you got lucky, is for this Grundig G8 shortwave receiver, which I've done a couple of shows on. And I really, really, really like this receiver. It was uh, given to me through a credit an Amazon credit that one of my subscribers did and I was able to purchase this radio and I really want to thank him for that I really appreciate your support he wants to remain anonymous so I can't put on the air who he is but to say he's a great donor subscriber supporter so when we reach 1000 subscribers now we're up to 650 reach 1000 somebody will win this radio and 
Same rules except that in the message you put that you want to be in the contest for the Grundig G8 radio. Okay? And like I say, you can enter both contests, either contest or none. So, so that's about contest that's coming up. Now, the other thing is, I just received in the mail this afternoon two books um, that were purchased through a credit from a subscriber from Amazon for me to review. And I'll tell you the name of the books and show you them, and that's it. And then I'm going, I'm going to do a thorough review of both of these books and and then do a show on it. And they're both about shortwave, shortwave listing. Okay, first one is the Worldwide Listening Guide, and this is edition, the fifth edition, and let me see if I can look in here and see when it was published. There's a message for you. Hmm. I can't find it. Usually it's in here on the front page of when it was published. Unfortunately, I do not see it. Maybe they don't do that anymore. Hmm. Nope, don't see it. Um, not on the back either. But this is fairly recent. And the only one thing I'll tell you about it is that it's spiral back. Which to me is ideal for reference books because you can research something, turn to that page, and bend it over, and there you go. So you don't have to break any bindings, uh, especially if you want to use it for marking things. The binder is ideal. I love that. Okay, so that's one book I got today, and I'll be reviewing. Put that down. Next one is Listening on Short Waves 1945 to Today. And this is just turning the pages and glancing at it, is basically a history book of short wave listening. So this is going to take me a little longer to get into it because it's a much bigger book and it's a lot of detailed information. Like I say, it's kind of a history book. So that should be interesting. So I'm going to review that one too. So that's two upcoming shows. Um, and the two contests. And the update on the Bofang. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to find, anybody could find a way of temporarily disabling uh, a channel. Now, what was confusing is I found a YouTube that they start talking about using the software to program it and disabling it. And I'm like, whoa! And it says disabling when scanning. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. So I went back and found that video again. Sure enough, that's what it said. But then on the Yahoo's users group, somebody just past week asked that very same question. And he said that he had the software and he says there's an option to do uh, block while scanning a channel. What does that do? And somebody came back and said, unfortunately, it doesn't do anything for this radio. The software that it was using is for a number of radios and a number of man manufacturers. And some of the other manufacturers apparently have that option, but not this radio. So, it doesn't work. Oh, so, that's the show for today. Be sure to uh, send me a, a message via YouTube if you want to enter the two contests or either contest. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. That's helping us get that number up and then we can have the contest. Um, please visit my Amazon store. And if you're interested in like the Bofang radio, this is on sale now, right now, for $31. $31 for a uh, five watt dual band uh, transceiver.
Now, of course, you have to have a, an amateur radio license to transmit on this, but you can receive on it. And uh, it's nice and light. It's good for an emergency radio, especially since you're only paying $31. You can knock it around. And if you break it, you only have 31 bucks. Unlike my Yezu equivalent to this, which cost me $350 about eight years ago, I'll probably never use that radio again. Okay, that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Whoa. Hey, you almost made it under 10 minutes. Almost.